So GM has revealed the new Hummer EV. It looks awesome, but there's a huge caveat to this. I mean, it's astronomically huge. I can't believe GM did this, but I'm going to make you wait. I'm not telling you right away. I'm going to go over a lot of the specs, some things that are going on with it, why it's cool, and why you need to just pump the brakes because it's not what you think. And of course, before I get started in all that, you're going to have to drop a like on the video. Where's my truck guys? Where's my off-roaders? Where's the Hummer lovers? That didn't really sound right. But just drop a like on the video, and if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button to keep up on all your automotive news. Now, let's talk about this new Hummer EV. It looks like a Hummer. It really does. It looks like a modern Hummer, and I love the way it looks. It has that big, burly grill. It has that super aggressive front bumper with the cutouts in front of the wheels, so the whole front wheels are exposed. Absolutely love it. And... I think they got the styling down packed. They really did. It's got full LED lighting on the front. The roof is removable. The only downfall really here is the bed, and that's only because it's kind of small. It's only a five foot bed, but it's still usable in a sense, I guess. The rear end is really, really cool. I like the styling of it. It just looks like a, a proper, more modern Hummer. The interior is very futuristic looking, but yet still very rugged. Uh, the seats are very cool. They look very thick. It doesn't look like uh, it's purely uh, a modern electric vehicle because a lot of the electric vehicles like the Teslas, the interior can get kind of bland and this one's not. I kind of like the styling of it. It's got a huge 13.4 inch infotainment system. It's got a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, which is pretty awesome. I like how they brought that two-tone color into the inside um, mixing it up with the seats and the door panels, it really ties everything in together. They did a really good job there. Overall, really awesome design, both on the inside and outside of the vehicle. Now let's go through a few specs. It has three electric motors putting out 1,000 horsepower, and it says 11,500 pound-feet of torque. Now, myself and car and driver, I feel both agree this could be a misprint. I think they meant 1,500 pound-feet of torque, not 11,000. That's absolutely absurd. But either way, that's still a lot of torque. Zero to 60 comes in in three seconds. That's nuts. It's basically, they're calling this a super truck. And with that kind of time, I agree with them. It also sits on an air suspension that can raise the truck up to six inches. It comes with 35-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory Mud Terrain tires but it does have room for 37s if you so desire. Now it is a truck, it's gonna go off-roading, so they put multiple skid plates under the truck to protect all the essential electronics, especially the battery packs. Speaking of under the truck, you also have an ultra vision camera, front and rear, under the car. All right guys, under the car, which shows you the tire placement, exactly where each tire is so that you don't have to guess. That's pretty awesome when you're, especially when you're rock climbing and you don't know exactly where your tires are. These cameras do that. They show you right where the tire is because you're looking under the truck. That's insane. I keep saying insane because, well, that's basically what this truck is. It's over the top. GM threw the entire kitchen sink at this thing. The dash displays torque output tire pressure, pitch and roll angles. It also shows you the locking differential status and even the torque split. Amongst all that, you also have a drift gauge which shows you the drift angle of the truck. Now the Hummer EV also comes with a four wheel steering system that includes a crab walking mode. That angles the tires in such a degree that allows the truck to move diagonally. Now, personally, I think this is a little bit excessive. I'm not sure who's actually going to go crab walking or a need for it, but I guess as a novelty feature, it's kind of cool. There's also a Watts to Freedom mode. Now, what this does is fully unlocks the power potential of the electric motors, giving you the whole 1,000 horsepower and getting that 0 to 60 in that 3 second range. It also comes with a Super Cruise hands-free driver assist feature. Um... I've always been on the fence about these, just kind of, it allows the vehicle to basically change lanes for you, 
keep you in a lane. I mean, it does all that stuff by itself, but we see how Tesla's autopilot has been a little finicky with that stuff, so I'm a little leery on the Super Cruise. Not saying that this one won't work. I'm just a little leery. It runs on an 800 volt DC Altium battery system. Now this system has a mode where you can change from parallel to series while it's charging. Now this will gain 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes. A full charge will get you up to a little over 350 miles of driving. Now all of this sounds fantastic. It's absolutely futuristic. Again, GM has thrown the kitchen sink at this thing. It looks cool. It sounds like it performs awesome. But to get all this awesomeness, you're going to have to pay a pretty awesome price tag coming in at a little over $112,000. Now, let's be honest. Someone who buys this truck, this isn't something you're going to drive every day. This is a toy. And I really don't honestly see a lot of people taking this off-road. This is something I'm going to see a lot at malls, um, driving down a boulevard, uh, car shows, things like that. I don't really see this off-roading. I'm not saying it won't happen, but I just don't really see this being an off-road truck. Not saying it's not off-road capable, because I have a feeling it's definitely going to be off-road capable, but the people who buy it aren't really going to off-road it. But there's a bigger caveat here. Huge, astronomical, I can't even believe GM did this. Are you ready? It's fake. Everything you've seen in the videos is fake. It's CGI. GM has stated that they don't even have an operational prototype yet. So again, everything you've seen in photos and videos is CGI. The chief engineer over in GM has stated, and I quote, Interestingly enough, we don't have a vehicle yet. We're building our first test vehicle as we speak. The vehicle you see in video is our display vehicle. The vehicle you see in the video is a CGI simulation vehicle. Now that blows my mind. I can't believe they revealed or debuted a vehicle they don't even have. They don't even have an operating prototype to work with. They're working off computer images. They have opened up reservations for a vehicle they don't have. Now, I've heard of releasing a vehicle early, but come on. I don't, I, I'm blown away by this. Now, they're saying all the first editions have been reserved, and it goes on sale fall of 2021. Now, that's only one year to go from a non-operating prototype to production models. That's not a lot of time. Now, there are a couple other variations that are coming out after the first edition, which will be a little bit cheaper, a little bit less equipment, and that one's gonna be called the Hummer EV3X, and that comes out in 2022. That'll have a starting price of $99,995. That one will also come with three electric motors, air suspension, the Watts to Freedom mode, crab walk, and active torque vectoring. Now the Hummer EV2X will come out in the spring of 2023, with a starting price of $89,995, and that offers the crab walk, adaptive air suspension, and two electric motors. Following that will be the Hummer EV2, which is their base model coming out in spring of 2024, with a starting price of $79,995, and that one will come with two electric motors, but foregoes most of all the off-road goodies. Now again, with all that being said, we are getting super excited about a vehicle that basically doesn't exist. I mean, we have CG models, fake video, and basically a promise from GM, and that's about it. So now that you have all this new information, what do you think of GM's move of releasing this truck before they even have it themselves? Throw your comments down below. I'm really anxious to hear where this is going to go. Do you get where GM's coming from? Do you understand? Are you with them? Or are you just like, why would you even do this? This is a stupid idea. You don't have a vehicle. Why release it? I'm kind of on that side. This is, I don't understand why they would even do this. It's kind of like teasing you with something they don't even have to tease you with. 
So that's the kind of, that's the weird part. That's where I'm standing anyway. So leave your comments down below. I want to hear what you think about this whole situation. Also, don't forget to drop a like on the video, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next upload.